Bible study. Well, you know what? I'm working on a message entitled The Cross and Resurrecting of the True Self. Hmm. And um, I'm beginning to find that out of our broken souls, how many times we seek wholeness through false ways. Hmm. So right. I thought I would try to come up with a message like that. What, what are some of the false ways you found? That oh, we... my. <laughs> um, how we find completeness in other things. Yeah, be at that as... practice field at 11. Savior, mm -hmm. or if we do know Christ, but we're ignoring that part, that we're trying to find other things to fix yeah. our broken. We're selves. trying to find completeness mm. in other things. Okay. Uh, whether that's through alcohol, whether that's through sex, whether that's through uh, job achievement, um, anything apart from Christ mm -hmm. will not complete us. I, when you say that, I've often heard people say, well, then what you're saying is that I can't do anything else but focus on Jesus. No. I can't work. Okay. No. What I'm saying is I find my true self okay. in Christ. Um, all of the masks and things that I wear to be accepted by you, society, and everyone else, I don't have to wear that. Why? Because I know who I am mm. as God's son. And out of that, it enables me to be free, to be free with you and others. That's the wonderful part about it. Yeah, it, it really is. Mm -hmm. I mean, just hearing you say the words opens up a whole new thinking for yeah. me. So what, what all kind of scriptures or what kind of good things are you finding? Oh, I, oh, I found a lot of good <laughs> scriptures. In fact, I got one out of 1 Peter uh, 2.10, and it reads like this, Once you were not a people. But now you are a people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. And then I put right behind that, real love as expressed in Christ challenges our counterfeit. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Say, say that to me one more real time. Real so love as expressed in Christ challenges our counterfeits. We encounter its most powerful dimension. How? through God's mercy at the foot of the cross. Mm. So it's, it's at the foot of the cross that I receive forgiveness. And it's in that forgiveness that God calls me out of that rejected idolatry self. Mm. So what does that do? It enables me to die to that stuff. And upon death, God resurrects the true self. And you're not talking about, though, the physical death. You're talking about learning that there's a, a, that spirit in there that is, um, where is it that it says, actually, Paul, what, didn't he say that I'm, all, I'm an enemy of God because I always have the, my yeah. flesh is fighting against the spirit the and this wrestling going And on. out of that, I no longer have to see myself through the eyes of the fleshly nature. See, I think so much of my life, or our lives have been, we've been so bound that we, we feel boundless. Mm -hmm. And we're so broken at times, or we're so sinful that we can't see ourselves as anything but sin. Mm, so what happens is Christ begins to tell us, to call us forth in our true self. And he begins to say, uh, I'll give you an example. Okay. Uh, you are now the spirit of love, which is love, joy, peace, kindness, mm -hmm. uh, gentleness, faithfulness. Okay, well, God, you said I'm all of these things, but I don't feel like I'm this. Mm -hmm. And God speaks to my heart and says, is my walk with you out of faith or out of... You guys intends for us. This is what I wrote. He intends for us to know the power of his love and the favor at his favor at the very core of our true self. True because this self has emerged in union with his self. So God's mercy, if I understand God's mercy, it is the basis of my self-acceptance. And his mercy, is there a difference between mercy and grace? Well, mercy is extended to us, mm -hmm. and it's his grace that keeps us going, mm -hmm. or by his grace uh, we continue to go. Mm -hmm. But um, real love, um, I believe God wants us to embrace 
the truth of who we are. Mm -hmm. And again, as I said, the only way we're going to embrace that is, and my little girl, my little girl said it a couple weeks ago, is to die to self. Mm -hmm. um, so much of our lives have been based around uh, what's in it for me. Mm -hmm. And we've become so selfish. Mm -hmm. uh, even in our Christian walk, uh, we have become selfish and addicted to all forms of behavior. Oh, let me put sinful behavior. And so, um, you know, here we are uh, trying to express the wonders of God. But then, I said it uh, to a group last evening, we have a, 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 a mask that we wear when we enter into church. Then we have another mask when we get in our cars with our wives and families. Mm -hmm. And another mask when we're at home, another mask at work. But in Christ, when we truly become one with him, all of these masks go off. Mm -hmm. And what you see now is the image of Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, I have run into a few people over the course of my life as a Christian that I could really sense that they were a very transparent mm, individual, word. you know, very open. And like you're saying, what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you know, Tim that owns the diner here, you know, he's very much like that. It's, it's very much, you know, you know where he stands with mm -hmm. the Lord and mm -hmm. everything. But you're right. I mean, as I think about others that I have known and and know now, and I, I would have to confess I'd put myself in the same category, mm -hmm. that we do find a mask to put on to suit the situation. And gosh, it seems like we criticize the world, you know, p ungodly people for doing that, and yeah, yet... We do it. See, yeah, we're we trained early in our lives to be critical. Think about it. Uh, the little nursery rhyme, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt. Well, we were being called names early on. And they did hurt. And that, they that, did and hurt. That and little rhyme was a lie. But the thing, the, thing, the thing that happened was we took those names and embraced them and somehow made them a part of our lives. Mm. So we're dealing with memories that uh, have somewhat devastated us at mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. So here we are, Christ is saying, this is who I am. Mm. And we're saying, no, Lord, this is who I am. Mm. And he's saying, no, this is who you are. And, 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 and the battle begins. Mm -hmm. So what I see, we become like Lucifer. Oh. We think ourselves as highly as God. In, in the fact that if God says, this is who you are, and I'm arguing with them, then I'm thinking myself as the most high. So in other words, we have to come to a place where if God says, this is who we are, then we have to accept it, even though in our mind or in our heart even, we're saying, you know, I don't feel that way. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm the mercy. Excuse me just a minute. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi.